everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a rather large Bath & Body Works candle haul today and uh, I did order all of these online. They were doing like a $10 off their candles and then I had a 20% off coupon so um, I think I paid right around $11 for most of these which isn't the best. I usually like to buy uh, Bath & Body Works candles when they're around $10 but um, I needed candles in a bad way, so I'm, I'm pretty stocked up for most of the spring and probably into summer. But anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into it. I've got some really yummy smelling candles here, and I can't wait to start talking about them. So the first one, uh, which you will have seen in the thumbnail that I picked up, is called Flamingo Beach. And I love this packaging. It's just really, really beautiful. Um, it's pink. It's beachy. It's got all these rocks and this beautiful pink sky. Um, this candle says that it is pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. Oh gosh. And you really can smell all of those things in this candle. It smells um, kind of like a fruity floral and then you do get just a hint of the orange. Um, not a lot. I smell more of the kind of berry and the fruitiness with the florals um, more than the orange but uh, it's really nice it's a really beautiful kind of spring summering in or sorry transitioning into summer scent a really beautiful scent okay the next one i picked up is called pineapple crumb cake so um this is really cute packaging too i am loving the packaging on um, these kind of spring candles and i love the contrast of the black lid on the white with the kind of black and mint green design it's just so pretty and springy uh, this says it is golden pineapple rich pound cake and sweet brown butter oh gosh and this does it really does smell kind of like a vanilla kind of pound cake smell. Um, you really get the butter in there as well as just a hint of pineapple. It's not an overly sweet like saccharine pineapple smell. It's more of like a bakery, um, a bakery smell with just a hint of pineapple. It's really, really nice. So, um, and I will tell you when I shop for Bath and Body Works candles, um, I really do like to read the reviews because uh, people are great about writing reviews and telling you which candles burned well, which ones pooled well, which ones had a really strong scent throw because those are all my requirements. I really want, um, my number one requirement is that I want it to have a very strong scent throw because I do position the candle um, really in the center of my home and then I want it to fill my entire house. So I do put it on my mantle and if it's a really good strong candle, it will literally scent my entire house from like my kitchen all the way into my front door so um, yeah all of these candles were rated very highly for their uh, fragrance throw so I'm really excited to get to burning these um, anyways let's move on here the next candle that I got was a uh, white gardenia so this is just in a really pretty kind of simple um, white packaging but just really beautiful and I love a good true gardenia smell because right outside my window here I have a huge gardenia bush and I it is so fragrant and beautiful and I love the smell of fresh gardenia so oh, it's just beautiful so that's a really good nice um, true fresh gardenia smell and I love it. Okay, moving right along here. The next candle that I picked up is called Paris Cafe. Uh, I had not smelled this one before, but this one, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back to the white gardenia one. The I wanna give you the notes on that one. Uh, the fragrance notes on that one are classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, and white woods. Uh, and it really, it just smells like a nice, true gardenia scent to me. So sorry, just to backtrack a little there. Uh, okay, so. I think the mailman's here. Um, okay, so this one is called Paris Cafe, and the notes on this one are rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, vanilla cream with essential oils. And this is an interesting scent. Now, I don't think that this is going to be for everyone. Um, you really, the first, the first thing that you're going to smell when you stick your nose in this is a very strong coffee smell but there is an undertone of that brioche of like a bread kind of scent so 
I think when it's burning and it doesn't smell the best in the jar, I really just get a lot of the coffee and a little bit of the bread, but I have a feeling that when this is burning, the sweetness is going to come out. So you're going to get that kind of sweet coffee with a little bit of kind of like bread baking in the background. So I just think it's going to be really nice when it is burning. I love kind of bakery scents. I love the gourmand um, scented candles. Uh, I really like all fragrance. Um, the only ones that I'm not a huge fan of are the really um, strong cologne smelling ones. Um, the really like masculine men smelling candles. Um, I still like them. They're fine, but they're just not my favorite. I think I prefer the kind of gourmand and then um, kind of the fruity floral ones uh, after that. And then the masculine ones would be kind of like my third favorite, but um, anyways, moving right along, the next one that I picked up is this banana bundt cake. And this is, again, that really cute kind of bakery style packaging. And this one, the notes are sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. And it smells beautiful. You really get the banana and the walnut fragrance in that. Um, with just a, a hint of cinnamon kind of in the very background. So um, again, gourmand fragrance. I think I'm really going to love this one. Okay, the next one that I picked up, and this is also the candle that I picked up for uh, my daughter's two teachers as well as the school secretary um, for the uh, Teacher Appreciation Day. But this is the candle called The Perfect Spring, and this is beautiful. It's like a marbled... Um, spring green and white packaging. It's just really beautiful. Um, the notes on this are spring air, fresh grass, apple blossom with essential oils. And I really do get kind of like an apple-y grass smell, if that makes any sense. You really smell the apple and it really smells like fresh cut grass. It smells like spring in a candle, so I am super excited to start burning this, and I hope that her teachers and the school secretary enjoy this when they get it as a gift. Okay, so the next one that I picked up is called Island Hideaway, and this one, the packaging got me. This is like Florida at night, beautiful palm trees, beautiful starry sky, for whatever reason, and Florida always makes me think of Ernest Hemingway, I don't know why. Um, Ernest Hemingway actually spent some, ta some time um, in the town that I live in as well, so I think that that's why I think about him when I think of Florida. Um, but this just reminds me of Ernest Hemingway. I don't know why I'm a crazy person, but uh, the notes on this one are fresh sea salt, coconut water, and lush rainforest cedar. And this smells amazing. You smell the coconut, but all of those fragrances combined give a kind of a hint of pineapple. Um, it just, it smells like a tropical drink. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to burn this one. Um, this is probably one of the, my favorites that I picked up this time around. Okay. Uh, next one I picked up is called Hot Fudge Sunday. So when I read the reviews on this, people said it really smelled like you were you had hot cocoa going in a pan on your stove or something. And oh my goodness, it smells exactly like Hershey syrup. It smells so good. If you like chocolate and you like the smell of hot chocolate, um, I think you would really like this one. It really does smell. It smells just like Hershey's chocolate syrup that you can make hot chocolate or chocolate milk out of. So anyways, love that. Super excited to have picked it up. That one might not be for everybody though. That one would be, you know, if you like the smell of chocolate, you'll like it. If you don't, I would stay away. Um, okay, next one I picked up is called Pineapple Sunrise. Really beautiful packaging. I did it again. I did it again. I'm sorry. The notes on the, the hot fudge sundae, the fragrance notes are gooey fudge, vanilla bean ice cream, and whipped cream and you can smell all of those things in it. Beautiful candle. Okay, sorry, on to Pineapple Sunrise. So the notes on this one are Juicy Island Pineapple, Crisp Persian Lime, and Warm Coconut Musk. And this one um, is not super pineapple-y. I would say that the Island Hideaway one smells more like pineapple than this one does. You do get a very slight hint of pineapple in the background, but I smell more of the uh, lime and the coconut musk. 
that I would say the coconut musk first and then lime would be second and then pineapple in the very background. Oh, it smells fresh though, it smells amazing, it smells like summer and I'm so excited to burn that one. Okay, down to the last two here. Uh, I also picked up this one. I love these kind of bakery um, scents that they come out with in the spring. Uh, so I usually try to pick up one, like new ones that I haven't tried before. I have not tried or burned this pink petal tea cake before. Um, this is so cute. It's such a pretty candle with the pink um, and the roses on the cake. It's just really, really beautiful. Uh, okay, the notes on this one are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. And that's what it smells like. It smells like a um, sugary rose scent. So it smells very, um, very sweet, but a little bit perfumey. So it's kind of got like a sweet, slightly perfumey rose uh, fragrance to it. Really delicate, really beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. I wanted to get something that wasn't quite gourmand, wasn't really summery, but something just um, soft and nice and feminine that would just make the house smell really beautiful. And I think that this is the candle for that. Okay, and then the very last one I picked up, and I'm glad I, caught, I got this because I actually got this one in store uh, when I picked up her teacher's gifts, and uh, they only had three left, and I did not see this one online at all, so I am glad, and they might have had it online, I might have just not um, noticed when I placed my order, uh, but this one is called Butterscotch Toffee, and this is definitely more of like a fall, uh, winter scent to me. Oh my goodness, but it smells... I mean, you can just smell the butterscotch. The notes on this are English toffee, buttery caramel with a touch of bourbon. Oh my goodness, and I just got some dust up my nose. Um, uh, and it does, it smells just like butterscotch. And let's see, yeah, you can, uh, you can get that touch of bourbon too, it really in the background. Um, butterscotch would be the, the most prominent fragrance in this one. And then a little bit of that bourbon in the background. Uh, and just a beautiful vanilla smell. So I love scents like this. These are like my top favorite um, kinds of fragrances. The lady, it's funny, when she was checking me out, she was like, I'm glad that there are some of those left because I have spent like $600 on candles this month and I picked up the last ones that we had and I think she said that they got like a few more in and so I was super happy to have been able to grab one of those. But anyways, that is it for my Bath & Body Works candle haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.